I've put together an overview of my cold weather setup that I run hunting mostly in some pretty rough conditions in New Zealand's South Island. Staying warm in cold weather is all about layering and having the right layers on. In this video, I'll show you each layer, starting at the base layer and moving to the outer shell. To help you find the gear that's shown in the video, there are links in the description below to each item. If you have any questions about any of the gear along the way, leave a comment below. Starting off on the base layer, I run the Ultra Merino 145. Merino is a great base layer as wool breathes so you can easily wear it in warmer conditions without overheating. The 145 hoodie is great to wear even by itself when the sun's out and you are doing a trek in or going up the mountain. This has been a great base layer and I'll be getting a few more Merino shirts from Kuyu. For my mid layer, I'll run the attack pants. These are the most popular item from Kuyu for a good reason. They are hands down the most comfortable pants you will ever own. They have side venting, so if you start to warm up with thermals on underneath, you can unzip these to cool down and they help regulate your temperature. They are made of a four-way stretch material that gives them great durability and suit all the hard work that backcountry hunting involves. If you're new to Kuyu gear, the attack pants are a must have. They're so good, I even got another pair in a solid color for hiking. If I'm in the snow a lot more, I'll bring the guide pants. These are very similar to the attack pants with side venting, but the main difference is the fleece lining. This makes them a bit warmer to wear in really cold weather. They have good water and wind resistance too, so they protect you a little more than the attack pants. For a cold weather mid-layer jacket, I run the guide jacket, as it's both water and wind resistant with fleece lining. It stops the wind and I found it can handle light rain well. It has armpit venting, which is great to open if you start to heat up trekking or climbing a mountain. The hood and waist also have drawstrings to tighten them, which helps keep the heat in. Another thing I've come to appreciate with the guide jacket is its durability. It saved me countless times passing through the thorny scrub that's all over New Zealand. Other friends have had their jackets ripped from these bushes, but the guide just shrugs it off. If the sun's fading and the temperature is really starting to drop, then I'll use the Super Down Pro as an insulation layer. This jacket packs down into one of its pockets and weighs only 380 grams. This is my personal favorite Kuyu item as it's so light and incredibly warm. This jacket has made some miserable cold situations so much better and I can't recommend this jacket enough. It does have armpit fence and toggles on the hood and waist to tighten also. I don't have the Super Down Pro pants yet, but that's likely gonna change very soon. For an outer rain shell, I use the Chuggage pants and jacket. The pants are designed with full length zips on each side so you can easily and quickly put them on over your boots. The cuffs are adjustable so you can make sure the water doesn't get in. The jacket also has venting so you can wear it on the move without heating up. This has been an awesome outer shell and it does the job of keeping the rain off you. They are easily packable and do have a bit of stretch to them. Best of all, the set is extremely lightweight and doesn't add too much weight to the pack. To stop water getting into my boots, I run the Yukon Gators. These are extremely well made and have the thick loop that goes under your boot in the bottom and adjustable clip on the top. I have worn these all day and they haven't moved off my calf. They also do an awesome job of keeping water out of my boots. As you've probably figured out, I'm a huge fan of Kuyu gear. So when I was looking for some mountain boots, I got the R Evolution boots, which Kuyu and Scarpa teamed up to make. They are a stiff soled boot, which is perfect for mountainous terrain. I won't go into too much detail with these boots as I've already got another video on the channel about the boots. These gloves are great for mild weather and I usually wear them in early morning or late in the afternoon. These aren't work gloves by any means and are more for providing some warmth, similar to a base thermal layer. For making your way through thick bush or climbing, you're gonna need a stronger glove. For gathering firewood, climbing, or any other hard work, the guide gloves are awesome. They have a great textured grip and have some insulation inside. They are really well made and are a great work glove. The gloves are windproof and water resistant, which helps protect you from the cold. I have found wearing these over the top of the strong fleece gloves is a great combo. For snow and freezing conditions, I'll bring the Super Down Pro gloves. These will keep your hands warm in freezing conditions. I usually run these on the side of the mountain uh, when I'm stationary glassing, and that's when I find my hands get the coldest. If it gets really cold at night, I have put these on my feet in my sleeping bag. For camping in the snow, I have the Kuyu Stormstar 2, which is a four season tent. It's an ultralight bomb proof tent that doesn't move at all in the wind and it's built for the snow and rain. I've got a whole other video that goes through that tent, so check it out on the channel. Last but not least is the Pro 7800 bag setup. This bag with the suspension system and carbon frame has saved my back from complete destruction on some huge treks. It's designed for seven day hunts in the backcountry, and it's very well thought out pack. The main thing I love about this pack is the number of compartments, the ability to tie down gear inside the pack and its overall durability. 
Thanks for checking out my Kuyu setup. If you wanted to get any more info on the items you've seen, check out the links in the description. And if you have any questions about any of the gear, write a comment below and I'll get back to you.